structure. So a draw is a, is a win for them. Yeah. Well, we've already looked at the Scott Higginbottom situation. After the match, Coach Steve Hansen pulled no punches about the constant efforts that he believes are being made to inflict injury on his skipper and the relatively lenient treatment that the perpetrators are getting. Well, it didn't take too much trolling through the archives to make a case. It's nothing new. Back in 2006, the Wallabies seemed intent on taking McCaw out at Eden Park. Bill War had a go. And then Lotte Tungiri, who got off very lightly after copping a meaningless 11-week ban that took him out of just one test. But it was 2010 when things escalated. Ireland's Jamie Heaslett red-carded for a knee to the head in New Plymouth. The feud with Quade Cooper was ignited in Hong Kong. and escalated in 2010 in Brisbane. There was more to come on the Northern Tour. Dylan Hartley got off scot-free in the same game that Kevin Mialamu was banned for a similar offence. With perhaps the worst incident coming in the final game of that tour. Again, no sighting. Reunion found this vision after the sighting window had closed following the World Cup final. And it's continued into this year. Scott Higginbottom's four-week ban after all that seems fair. But how much longer can the All Black captain continue to regard such treatment as some kind of backhanded compliment?